mandatory introduction here. Can't skip it. This is Johnny. He made this game. He got some help. We're gonna talk about it. Or did mm. we already talk about it? But basically, the idea is very simple. It's up to the format that you all liked. The video with Bjorn, the video with Sven, where we are walking across their brain, picking their brain, figuring out how, how, how they use default. So it's same with Johnny, and like, you like these videos, this is cool, thank you for that, thank you for all the views and likes and comments. Johnny is also part of default team, working on some cool things. Metal Vulcan, that's probably the latest one what you're working on now? It's the biggest, yeah, it's the biggest uh, the thing biggest. I'm working on right now. Yeah. Um, so let's see how did you use your graphical skills in this game. I in can you join as well from the keyboard? Yes. Yeah. And now we <coughs> now play. And so now first a little bit of uh, like a cutscene uh -huh. <laughs> just to uh, set the set the mood. Okay, so um, uh -huh, it's pretty simple. You, you have oh, you're the you're the black skin dude. Uh, yeah, Clarence Clemens, the the saxophone player. So uh -huh. there's only this like you have three buttons, kind of jump, uh, kick. And yeah. Right, so it's pretty simple. Um, what are the bad dudes? Yeah, uh, no, there's no bad dudes. We're, we're it's a deathmatch. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was fast. <laughs> Maybe you know how to. Yeah, Maybe you know what you do in this game. Uh, well, I mean, there's some of the two things you can do: kick and kick and punch. Maybe jump. But jumping doesn't really help you. No. So, <laughs> um, look. Yeah, and now you can p put uh, pick up the thing. You get. Yeah, mm, I get health here. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's so. <laughs> there's no. There's no. I mean, it's fairly simple gameplay. I didn't really get to that far, unfortunately. I mean, it's game jam, so we don't have that much time. <laughs> no, who's who gonna die? Who's gonna die? Who's gonna die? Gonna uh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Yes. <laughs> okay, so it's still four. Or till like three kills. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to. Uh, I think you want to match it pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, it's not a long game, so. When uh, you started this project, and generically mm -hmm. when you start new projects with default, do you start with an empty project, yeah. or do you have a set of favorite libraries that you immediately attach, even if you don't know if you if you're gonna need them or not? No, uh, I I always go with the uh, empty template. Uh, empty. There's no, I mean, pro this might be probably a, a, a bad thing, but I don't have any dependencies whatsoever. Like I'm not using any of the assets, mm. so it's just completely. I'm doing Indeed. everything by. He's yeah, not lying. I mean, no. look into look look there's into the editor. Nothing, there's nothing here, so I, I mean that might be might be a bad thing. <laughs> but you have to code everything yourself, like from the scratch. Yeah. Like exactly. for this game. Yeah. Do you do this each time? Yeah, every time. It, it, well, do you do I'm this because it's fun, or is it just I mean that's why you participate in game jams, oh. or do you do this because it's just easier because this is your code? So you're familiar with it? Yeah, it's easier for me. I mean, I, I have my ways of doing things uh, mm -hmm. that I kind of I mean I reuse a lot of my own code. Kinda. Yeah. So I know that um, like I'm using it's very subtle, but in the in the character selection screen, yeah. I'm using a small camera <laughs> shape. Where is it? You wanna, you wanna see? I use that exact same setup for like all all my games that I need a camera shake in, mm -hmm. so I just basically... But this is, not th this is not like a common library like Ludobits, like the famous Ludobits, like you just mm. have your code scattered around your project, mm. and then you just like I know take that the snippets. Kind of. yeah. yeah. I mean, every project is different. Mm -hmm. uh, so depending on like what my mood is, kind mm -hmm. of, I, I just, I, I, I probably, uh, have to recode the wheel a lot yeah. of times, but for me that's fine. But I enjoy let's the see that code for the camera shake. I mean, like you mentioned it, I now I'm super curious about <laughs> it. Yeah, you so are as well, right? I mean, I, th I think I got it from somewhere. Like some, it's a d default user that has written the code originally, yeah. and, I, and I, I, I borrowed it basically. Or I Which is the way of how we do it in default. Yeah, and how you do it, like our yeah. beloved default users. It's this function here, update shake. Mm -hmm. We have a bunch of, of shake positions, and, and you apply a bunch of math. I'm not. I haven't <laughs> really looked into the exactly what it does. But I see. Well, it works. It works. Yeah. Uh, any anything else fancy that you do in render script? Uh, well, kind of. I mean, the, the, the I spend a lot of time figuring out the shadowing. 
Shadowing. Yeah, and, uh, let's go, go into the game. Shadowing. I, maybe I didn't notice shadows. Yeah, no, well, it's a small effect, but um, I spent like maybe 40% of the time on this game just doing this. It deserves <laughs> a feature in this video. Yeah, maybe. Um, <laughs> so. so. Okay, so. Anyway, That's so just a blob, or. Well, not the shadow of the character, but the sh you see the, the areas over here? But that's light mm. mapping. Uh, or is it. No, well, light It's not big. I mean, <gasps> see, like, oh, really? Yeah. So now I'm in shadow. But that's real, <laughs> these are real time shadows. Mm, yeah. But that's a 2D game. Yeah. So how do you but make a shadow from a 2D object? It's cheating. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's no, no real cheating. So no do you just no calculate action. and project on the plane or. No, no, it's nothing fancy. Uh, it will. I mean. Let me show you. So yeah. And also, so, so the box, the, the, the health mm -hmm. bar box mm -hmm. has a shadow. Any, any other shadows that we're going to discuss now and look into no. the code? Well, nah, nah. It, it's just the, the big thing is kind of this uh, mm -hmm. dynamic area shadowing yeah. thing. Uh, so that's 40% of your time. Uh, something like that. I'm not Very sure. good. <laughs> so, oh, uh -huh. Yeah, and one more. You kinda, yeah. yeah. And same. So. It's a very simple, very, very simple setup. Yeah, and uh, the, shadows, really the shadows on the road? Are they, shadows? They, are, they are light map or hand painted kind of. Hand so painted, yeah. I have basically two, two layers here. And this is the city map. I only have one oh map. Oh, I but see. Uh, so here is, here is the kind of mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the basic. Uh, right. So yeah. basically, you calculate, like, you know how the shadow lo looks like, and you have it in a separate layer, mm. and, uh, and there is a mask, and if you're, and, mm. and, and you probably uh, do some clever shading, uh, probably multiply when you're under that mask. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, so basically, if we look at, at that level, I have a bunch of uh, collision objects, so... I, I want to I want to trigger using the shadow layer yeah. when I've entered the shadow. You can't really if if I just overlay the shadow on top of everything. Yeah. You would be have a shadow. The character would be shadowed in this position, right? Because uh -huh. of right. the mask. So so right. I need to I need to know when when are I or yeah. when I have entered a shadow. So so mm -hmm. that's why I use kind of yeah. the uh, the collision. Not mask. the mask, <coughs> but the but the. Uh, the physics, the the collision, yeah. Yeah. So, so this you see the, bl the blue shapes here. Uh, they are triggers, and they trigger um, for let's see what they mask. They're masked somehow. Yeah. Um, and the player, I guess, has uh, the collision trigger on 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 its own blob. Or uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, exactly. So here's the shadow group, um, yeah. and that masks to the player. So if I take a look at the player. It has a bunch of collision objects. Uh -huh. So I have a collision of the shadow that's uh, set to group player, mask, shadow. So they will trigger each other, kind of. So and I've, I've placed it uh, in the feet here. So the mm -hmm. feet, uh, feet yeah, area will trigger. be triggered when you enter the, the, the shadow area. And so, <coughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's one thing. And also, um, the way I shade it is I first. So there, there's no no real way um, to to kind of generate the texture uh, with the render script. Yeah. Kind of. You ha you can do it with in the GUI uh, in the GUI component. Mm -hmm. You can create a, a, mm -hmm. a texture and upload it. But um, so I want to kind of uh, so the player object is, is a sprite. Yes. And, and and in the in, in the shader I want to sample both. Um, I need to have the shadow uh, texture available as mm -hmm. well as, this, as mm -hmm. the sprite, the, the, the player texture kind of. Yeah. Uh, so uh, when, when the game, when you enter the level, uh, I send a message to, to the renderer saying, uh, let's see, render shadow, yeah, here we go, render shadow, which is this message. And I, I set the dirty shadow spike. Mm -hmm. uh, and up here, I just check the flag. So okay, we need to update the shadows. Uh, I think this is just basically copying uh, the sprite to a new texture that I can then sample however I want. So in the shader, which is up here somewhere, 
So this is the shadow generation. It's just outputs uh, the inverse of the texture mm -hmm. uh, texture values or the, yeah, the shadow shadow layer. <laughs> and then when I put it together, I, I so I bind uh, the texture sample sampler is the sprite, the player sprite, and then the texture sampler shadow is the shadow layer. So I have so I have both the um, the player and the shadow and. Okay, so this, and then I calculate a, a screen UV coordinate, and then I, um, yeah, I, I calculate a shadow shadow UV uh, for for the the texel I'm I'm shading, uh, and then I multiply them together, depending on if we are in shadow or not. So, mm -hmm. if we are in shadow. I set this constant, the tint, the tint value. I think I'm setting everything just to is basically a zero or one. Are we in shadow? Or are we not in shadow? Um, and then I multiply them together. So when we're not in shadow, this will this will be uh, zero. So we will not. We will use the color. Otherwise, we will use the the shadow value. Kind so of. from what I understood. There is just a material on the player mm. that gets edited depending if 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 the shading is triggered or not. So you edit the the material mm -hmm. yeah, this on, is on the player. Yeah, this is a custom. I'm not Correct. using the sprite, sprite material. I'm using the uh, my own custom material that's just using this sprite uh, vertex uh, shader and then my player yeah. fragment shader. Because I wasn't sure, like, how do you create new textures in default in real time? That's not super possible. That is not super possible. No. So that's this is kind of a workaround. So I create. I I know the kind of the size of my texture, uh, and so I create a render target, mm -hmm. and then I. I render a quad on top yeah. of on top of it, or a sp sprite. Um, so it basically will copy. So I, I will have yeah. A, yeah. So it will copy yeah. copy the contents of that atlas yeah. into, into yeah. the yeah. My texture, and it's then I will use that to to sample the shadow layer. So I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Some cl some clever operations. What what is the structure of the game? Do you have a controller? Do you have a huge update function? Mm, no, I, I try to kind of split it up as as, uh, as, uh, as much as possible. So the, there are independent game objects, they live in the world, they are self-sustainable. Mm, yeah, so I have... Um, okay, how the game is controlled? From the GUI or like how the stats happen? The main driver is, is uh, for, for the game itself, it's probably the game collection uh, and the game script, which kind of reacts to whatever happening. Okay. So, so, so there is a controller script, sort of. Yes, the main game. controller kind of. Um, that spawns the players, spawns the pick, uh, pickups. Um, so what do you do in update? So what do you check for each frame? <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically all, the, all of the game, game controller or the applet uh, function here is basically doing a kind of depth sort to render the objects in the correct order. So um, let's see. Why do you do it here and not in render script? Uh, or, or because we already do. We already kind of sort the objects uh, in order based on the based on the Z component uh -huh. of, the, of the object. So the Z position kind of already defines the render order. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I don't really have access to the object in the render script. I only have yes. a predicate. Yes. So yes. I need to I, I, I use the system that's already there yes. by kind of fiddling with the Z value of, mm -hmm. the, of the object. Mm -hmm. So for example, mm -hmm. if you see over here about the dumpster, yeah. uh, if I don't have it, I wouldn't be able to yeah. just walk behind it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. And the same goes for if we had another player here. Uh, I mean, you need to have the correct draw order for, uh -huh. for it to look nice. That's, that's such a nice setup, and it's it just uh, so scalable. And the source mm. code is look into the source code in the comments. There is a link to GitHub, and you can go and play with it and see how you yeah. can extend this game possibly. Uh, remember, this is, a <laughs> this is a game jam code base, so just. You so know, you have to improve it. Disclaimer, yeah, and for sure. uh, do a pull request. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe don't just sell this game for hundred million dollars. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Last question that I have: Can you show the level 
like anything clever that you s um. did with the setup? <laughs> like the dumpster you showed, like that the player can go behind the dumpster. Mm -hmm. How 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 is it possible? I don't really understand. Like, how do you know that the dumps, since dumpster is on the same sprite, I assume, or is mm, it a separate no. sprite? It's it's a separate. I have a bunch of um, a, a bunch of game objects here. You mm -hmm. see, and and I use these kind of. So this is the you know the the introduction, the, sp the yeah. cutscene kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, I when when the game starts, I ask the level like, do you have any or I actually just know what these are called all these games are called so the pickup is for the different pickup positions mm -hmm. that you can have uh, the spawn positions are obviously the spawn mm -hmm. positions where the players spawn the walk uh, uh, walk from is where I start the animation for each player mm -hmm. and the walk to is where I end the animation the okay. kind of walking where the, where the players yeah. are kind of walking yeah, towards yeah. each other uh, so I know that these are called this way. So yeah. I, when I started, I just get retrieve all mm -hmm. the positions. Uh, I could I could have done that in script and just yeah. specify all them in, in script in the in yeah. the level script, but that would take way too much time. Yeah. So I just I just tweak everything in the editor itself, mm -hmm. and then just retrieve yeah. all the positions. I like uh, this approach. It's yeah, it's pretty easy. I mean. I started doing the the old-fashioned way and just putting out like uh, the yeah coordinates coordinates, but that's I mean that's way especially if you rearrange the level, then it messes yeah, up. Yeah, exactly. And if you have, I mean, it's so I guess other game yeah. game settings would probably do same. So the dumpster. Yeah. So what happens dumpster? with I'm the dumpster? <laughs> it's you know the important part of the dumpster. <coughs> yeah. So okay. Here you see I've cut uh, cut it out from yeah. from the the level sprite kind of and put it in its own. Mm hmm. And when I start the game, I ask the, lev the, the level script is very simple, but I ask the game like what dynamic objects do you have? Like what objects mm -hmm. need to be sorted by depth? So I can insert them in my controller script mm -hmm. and, and make sure to set them uh, relative to all the other dynamic objects. So, I, so in the game controller, I have a, a list of dynamic objects yeah. and I ask the level, okay, well I need your dynamic objects yeah. now. And I take all of them and just put them in. So I can change this, arrange this any way I want. And I can add, I mean, adding a level is just making a new collection, making yeah. a new script, putting yeah. everything else. So I'm amazed, like how, like that you put such a nice foundation to the game, uh, and and yeah. So hopefully you people gonna benefit from that, and you look downstairs, downstairs, down in the comments. Click on the mm. GitHub links open the project in your own copy of default and see mm. if you want to play with it or if you just want to learn from how Johnny does stuff. With that, shall we say um, thank you and goodbye? Yeah, thank you and goodbye. Thank you and goodbye.